us going over on the AFC Fitness. We're back in Kidderminster to start the day, so we need to have a brief experience. We're coming back to where Ground to Ground began. The first round we did on Ground to Ground all the way back in 2021. Luciano and Tom Bray can't be filming. It's going to be a fun day. The bunch. So on the way to the stadium now, so it's a reverse fixture of what we saw um, a few months ago when we went to Banbury. Kidderminster against Banbury this time. And it's a really good stadium. I think a lot has changed since we came here in 2021. It was the first capacity game back since lockdown. What has changed since I was I was working as a waiter in a cocktail bar for you one. Were, where were you back then, Tom? <laughs> where was I when? 2021? Yeah, back in the day when we last came here and ground to ground began. I don't know. Uh, well, well, thanks. <laughs> but yeah, it's a pilgrimage back to where this series began. I had no idea how it would turn out, but we've done very well so far. We're going to take Luciano back to the birth of it. Nice double chip in there. Heading to the ground now, very excited. We got to see this game in full flow as um, when we went to it was just a friendly, still decent atmosphere, but full capacity lead game could be very interesting. Right, we have arrived at Agra. We had to climb many hills. It was exhausting, it nearly killed us. Oh, We've made it. Wow. It's like getting to Mordor. Downhill second half. No oh, that was good. <laughs> And it was here, on this spot, on my first ground to ground, where I did my first history of the football team, Kidderminster Harriers, way back in 2021. I'm something of a broken record, aren't I? Let's go into the supporters bar, I think, get a quick drink. Very nice club bar. Villa on us, against us on the screen. There's no space, let's go to bench outside. Okay, here we go, we went for Thatcher's orange each. Here's the kitty. Ah, good stuff. <laughs> Alright then, time to head in. Are you excited? Yes. Oh yes, let's do this. Here we are. So we were in that stand last time. As Pulp ring out, we are here. Tom's wandering off. Because you were so popular. Oh Deborah, do you recall? Your house was very small. With wood chip on the wall. But when I came round to call, you didn't notice me at all. Also, it was recently my 26th birthday. 26 is my lucky number. So I decided to get my AFC Finnish shirt that Tom got me merchandise. I'm It's my lucky number. <laughs> On that damp and lonely. <laughs> What's wrong with Paul? What do you do? Okay, stop. About half an hour before kickoff, we've already had a lovely day. We managed to meet Ronnie Johnson again, the Banbury chairman who kindly bought us a pint this time. He was in a bit of a rush, but he recognised us and asking how we're getting on. That's really sweet. I love that. We can hear the Banbury fans over there singing, it's going to be a good day. So, score predictions, boys? I have an unhealthy habit of causing a 1 0 or 2 0 defeat to the away team and we're going to break that today I'm going 3-0 Kidderminster Excellent. let's have it to be fair we broke the um, away team curse last week when Cribs won 2-0 at home Tomaldo um, 2-1 Banbury the, the, the away team curse continues I'm going to say one goal apiece what we've all predicted it's going to have goals it's destined to be a 0-0 <laughs> Thirty-four minutes in, and Banbury have broken the deadlock. Corner was swung in, and a number seven has poked it in. Last time we saw this fixture, it was a one-nil victory to the away side. We're on for a repeat. Kidderminster nil, Banbury one. Yeah. Half time, and it is one-nil to Banbury. Neither side has reproduced much, but Banbury have produced what they needed to make it one-nil. Kidderminster fans not happy, pulling the players off the pitch at half time. They'll have to produce something special if they get, get anything out of this, but as it stands, I'd be surprised if it doesn't finish 1 0 to Banbury. Half time, Kidderminster 0, Banbury 1.
Banbury double their lead and seal the three points. It was a lovely free kick curled into the top corner. It's gone in off the post. Tom, repeat what you just said. Banbury have done two things this game. And what are those? Score. Correct. Kidderminster was starting to gain a bit of momentum, but they haven't taken a chance as they've been punished. Banbury surely now will take three points to now. Full time here at Agra and Banbury seal a comfortable 2 0 victory. Kidderminster had brief bits of momentum, but never really looked like scoring, and they're just not taking their chances. Banbury are clinical, and that's why they have the three points. Kidderminster fans are not happy as the side from Oxfordshire take the three points. Full time, Kidderminster nil, Banbury two. So that was too kiddy, too furious. <laughs> he, t he told me to do that. Um, really nice to return, and you know I normally support the home team, but you know I'm pleased to see Banbury get three points because like when we did see this first fixture in Banbury, I think the day out we had had everything except a Banbury win. So fair play to them getting three points. Seems like fans are not happy with Russell Penn at Kidderminster at the moment. So hopefully. Their form makes an upturn, but <laughs> so they didn't seem like it would be after today's performance, but you never know. But yeah, fair play to Banbury for getting three points, and Kidderminster, really nice to be back. Really good to see the stadium for like proper league game compared to the friendly we saw before. Really nice to be back. Fairly recommend coming to here in Worcestershire to see a game. I've really enjoyed myself, and it's been great. We've got the golden trio <laughs> together again. So tomorrow we head to a similar area to this. I won't tell you because the vlog will be out in a couple of days. We'll have a great time. Thank you to Kidderminster and Banbury for a good day. Hopefully we'll be back at one of your stadiums soon enough. Thank you for watching this match day vlog. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.